So today I will share my thoughts on one of the most requested topics on this channel, VPN apps that you can trust. Now, if you search for VPN apps on Android or even on iOS, you're going to find shit ton of apps. And I'm not sure how effective they are, but chances are they are selling your user data. For instance, the first search result, free VPN, unlimited fast secure hotspot is registered in Hong Kong, <coughs> China. And let's take a look at another one. So here's 2019 written in the icon. Interesting. Anyway, there you go. China again. <laughs> Now, this may look a little bit far-fetched, but a few years back, it was revealed that 84% of free VPN apps on Google Play Store leaked user data, while the rest have malware in them. And it makes perfect sense. Why would a VPN company give you something for free when they themselves have to pay for the servers? So the question has to be asked, are free VPNs worth the risk? Well, not in my opinion. I would rather go with reputable VPNs with a direct business model. That being said, there are still good free VPNs out there that you can try. So let's check them out. The newest VPN in town is from Opera, which doesn't keep any log. For those who remember, Opera used to have a standalone VPN app, which they have removed last year and recently replaced it with a browser that contains a VPN. And guess what? This update was recently passed in India. So simply download the beta version of the app, open the private browser and there you go. You can see the VPN there. Now everything that you search inside this browser is protected by VPN. But one caveat though is that this VPN is active only inside the browser and not outside of it. And if you're looking for a system wide VPN, go with Proton VPN. So Proton VPN is made by the same CERN and MIT team that was responsible for creating the secure email service Proton Mail. So once you download the VPN client, turn it on and then all your internet traffic will be rerouted through countries such as Switzerland and Iceland. The cool thing about Proton VPN is that it offers unlimited free VPN with a speed limit. So if you are wondering how do they make money? Well, they have premium options that offer better speeds starting at $4. While VPN does help you to unblock geo restrictions, there is also no denying that it slows down your internet speed. So if you're looking for a VPN that not only gives you privacy, but also is fast, then go for Cloudflare DNS. Now Cloudflare is not like other VPN apps. Instead, it's a DNS service, but it works the same way. So just download the app and tap on connect and it will override your ISP DNS queries with that of Cloudflare, that is 1.1.1.1. Now, your ISP won't be able to see what you're browsing and it will also bypass country censorship, like when the Indian government banned the sites that rhyme with corn. So Opera, Cloudflare and Proton VPN, these are among the few VPN services that I would possibly trust. But if you really want a good VPN, well, you might have to pay for it. For example, no free VPN can bypass geo restrictions on Netflix and offer unlimited high-speed connection. They also don't support torrent networks, so we use SmartDNS Proxy, a paid VPN at TechWiser. Or you can also consider other freemium VPNs, such as Tunnelware, which offers a part of service for free and then you will have to pay for the rest. And then there are other paid VPNs such as ExpressVPN, NordVPN, TorGuard, etc. Most of them cost $3 to $5 a month and offer tons of extra features that you won't get in free VPNs. Just make sure to research it better because often VPN companies influences their app reviews. Along with having a paid VPN, I also create my own VPN server. Yes, it's pretty easy to do that and we will come to that in a bit. But the reason I create my own VPN server is because if you're choosing a paid VPN, there's no way to be sure if they're keeping a log of your IP address or not. You just have to take their word for it. So it's better to create your own VPN. And yes, you can create your own VPN in less than 15 minutes. But hey, you just have to spend your money though. So to create a free VPN server, all you need to do is rent a server space. For this, you can use web hosts like DigitalOcean, AWS or Voltaire. Simply create an account, choose a location of the server like US and then the key is to run the open VPN on the server which will configure everything for you. Next choose a package and deploy the server. It will take few minutes for the server to start. But once it does, it will give you a username and password. 
Simply type this username and password to any open VPN client like your Android and then click on connect. And there you go. Now you are connected to your own VPN server. You can create as much as you want from different countries and delete them whenever you want. It just take few minutes. So these were some of the free and paid VPNs that you can use. Opera and Proton VPN are among the few VPNs that are free and has a decent privacy policy. But more often than not, you should go with a paid VPN or might create your own as well. Overall, choose a VPN that you can trust. The one that doesn't have a fishy revenue model. But on a second thought, this should be the case with everything in the life, isn't it? Anyways, this is Minal signing off. I will catch you in the next one.